Hi friends, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand how to launch EC2 Linux instance in AWS Cloud. Before going to start that EC2 instance, let's understand what is EC2. EC2 is one of the most widely used service in the AWS Cloud. This EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. EC2 provides scalable computing capacity in the AWS cloud. We can launch virtual machines in the AWS cloud using this EC2 service. If you want to deploy your application in the AWS cloud, you no need to purchase a separate computer. You no need to purchase the hardware separately. You can use this EC2 to launch your virtual machine to deploy your application. Do we need to pay the money to use this EC2 service? AWS providing EC2 service for free under free tier account for one year. Monthly 750 hours, you can use this EC2 instances. All right. With this, we understood what is EC2. The main purpose of EC2 to create virtual machines in the AWS cloud. Now, how to create that virtual machine? What are the components involved in creating the EC2 instance? We are using AWS cloud. We need to have an account in the AWS cloud. AWS will provide one default VPC. VPC stands for virtual private cloud. It is used to create the resources in the AWS cloud with isolated network. A default VPC will be available. By using that, we can create our EC2 instance. Network will be provided by this VPC. Amazon machine image AMI concept is available, which will provide you a template to create an instance. Do you want to create a Windows machine? Do you want to create Linux machine? Do you want to create Mac machine? For every type, there is a AMI. Using that image, we can create the machine. And for every machine, we need some storage. How we have hard disk for our machines. Similarly, for EC2 instance also, we need some storage. That storage will be provided by Amazon EBS. EBS stands for Elastic Block Storage. So with the help of AMI, EBS and VPC, we can launch one virtual machine that is called as EC2 instance. Once this EC2 instance is launched in the AWS cloud, who can connect to this EC2 instance? Will anybody access that? No. So there will be a gateway. There will be a firewall who can access this EC2 instance. So that's where security groups comes into picture. We need to enable that security group rules, inbound rules and outbound rules will be there. Inbound rule we are going to enable for SSH connection, right? As a user, we can connect to that EC2 instance using SSH protocol. For that SSH connection, we can use Putty software or we can use mobile XTERM software. So as a administrator, we can connect to our EC2 instance from our machine by using mobile XTERM software with SSH connection. Able to understand this? EC2 instance we are creating with AMI, EBS, VPC, and we are using security group. From outside, we are connecting to that EC2 using this SSH connection with the help of mobile XTERM software. Mobile XTERM software you can download from internet. It is available for free of cost. And next one, to secure these connections, AWS is providing a concept called key pair concept. Whenever we are launching the instance, AWS will ask you to use one key pair. Key pair is the combination of public key and private key. When we launch that instance, AWS will store that public key and AWS will give us that private key. Using that private key, we can establish connection with our EC2 instances securely. People cannot connect with our EC2 instance without this key pair. All right. Now, let us see this, how to launch the instance and how to connect to this instance by using mobile XTROM. I'm already having an account in the AWS guys. So here, if you go to EC2 service, if you are not able to see this, you can go to search bar. You can type EC2 virtual servers in the cloud. Click on the EC2. You can see the EC2 dashboard. Currently instances running zero. We can launch one instance. There is option launch instance. Click on this option. You can give me a name for the instance. I'm giving the name as my Linux VM1. Here, 
AMIs. You can select the AMI which you want. I'm going for Amazon Linux. Instance type T2 Micro. T2 Micro instances are free tier eligible. First one year, monthly 750 hours. You can use this T2 Micro instances in the AWS cloud. Key pair login to establish secure connections. If you don't have a key pair, you can create it here and download that. I already have a key pair. I'm selecting the existing key pair. Network settings, as I told you, a default VPC will be available, which will provide the network to connect with our EC2 instances. Security group, dislike a firewall. Create a new security group by enabling SSH traffic. If you don't enable the SSH traffic, we can't connect to the EC2. SSH traffic should be enabled. Next, by default, EBS root volume will be available with 8 GB space. That EBS root volume is like a hard disk for our machine, which will maintain our machine data. Next, number of instances. Currently, I want to create only one instance, so I'm keeping it as it is. Then finally, click on this button, launch instance. Now my EC2 instance is getting started in the AWS. This is the instance ID. Click on this ID. You can see the status of the instance. Instance state is still pending. It will take some time to change that status to running state. Once that state is running, then we can connect to that instance by using SSH protocol. I'm using mobile extra. You can download that mobile extra from the internet. Now instance state is running. Select the instance using this checkbox. You can see one public IP got generated. Public IP is available, private IP is available. Private IP used by AWS for internal purpose within the VPC guys. But here we are need we are trying to connect with the EC2 from outside from my Windows machine. I want to connect with this Linux machine, which is running in the AWS cloud. So we need to use public IP address of this machine. Copy this public IP. Go to mobile extra. Open a new session. SSH remote host. You need to give the public IP address username for Amazon Linux. The default username is EC2 iPhone user. Go to advanced SSH settings. Here you can select the private key. I have selected Linux PEM file. So I'm selecting that which is already downloaded and stored in my system. Then click on OK. Fine, I'm able to connect with this Linux EC2 instance successfully. Now you can execute some commands here. Who am I? That will display username. You can check what is the present working directory slash home slash EC2 user. So ls hyphen l, see it is doing to list out the files available in the present working directory. Currently nothing is available. I can create one file, touch abc.txt. One file I have created, ls hyphen l. Yes, that file is created, it is displaying. That means we are able to launch the EC2 instance and we are able to connect with the EC2 instance. Once your practice is completed, then you can stop the instance or you can terminate the instance. Terminate means that instance will be deleted from your AWS account. If you stop the instance, whenever you want, again, you can start the instance and you can use it for your operations. Currently, I stopped my EC2 instance. I hope you understood how to launch the instance and how to connect with the instance. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more updates. See you in the next video.